the magic of math here, and today we're testing, testing. We're going to use a vertical line test to determine if a graph is a function. Here we go. Here's our question today. This question has two parts. In part A, determine whether each graph in this table represents y as a function of x. And we're asked to select function or not function for each graph. So we have four graphs and we're selecting function or not function. So this is small, so let's go and enlarge it. We'll do one at a time. We're looking for function or not function, and here is our first graph. I'm going to ask you to pause and determine whether or not this is a function or not a function. Come back when you're done. Welcome back. So again, we're going to determine whether or not it's a function or not a function, and we're going to select one. To do this, we're going to use the vertical line test. The vertical line test is used to determine if the graph of a relationship is a function or not. As you pass your pencil vertically left to right, if it intersects more than one point on the relationship, then it is not a function. So this graph is a relationship, right? It's showing a relationship between x and y coordinates. So we're going to pass our pencil left to right, and here it goes, and we're looking one point, one point, one point. So now we can say that this graph is a function because the pencil never passed through more than one point at a time. All right, second graph, your turn. Pause the video now. Come back when you're done. Welcome back. So again, we're determining function or not function using the vertical line test. So as we pass our pencil left to right, we can see it fails two points, passes through two points, passes through two points. So I showed you three instances where the pencil passed through multiple points. You only needed one to know that it failed and that it is not a function. Here's your third graph. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So again, function, not a function, and we're going to use the vertical line test. Passing our pencil left to right, we can see that it passes through every single point on this line. So it fails the vertical line test. So a little side tip for you, any vertical line is not a function. It's actually the only straight line that is not a function. All right, your last and final graph. Go ahead and pause, come back when you're done. Welcome back. So again, we're gonna use the vertical line test. We're gonna pass our pencil left to right to determine function or not a function, one point, one point. So we can tell that this is a function because the pencil only passed through one point at a time as we pass the pencil left to right. So let's review our four graphs. We can see that this is a quadratic function and it is a function. It, the pencil never passed through more than one point at a time. We said this one was not a function because we passed through two points several times. We learned that a vertical line is not a function because it fails the vertical line test and that all other lines are functions. So here we go. Function, not a function, not a function, function. Let's move on to part B. The relationship between the x and y values in this table is not a function. One of the values of x is missing from the table as shown, right here. We're asked, what is one value of x that could replace the missing value in the table to show that y is not a function of x? And enter your answer in the box. So go ahead and pause, think about this, and come back when you're ready to check your solution. Welcome back. So we're trying to determine how to complete this table so that it's not a function. We're told that this relationship in, between x and y is not a function and it's missing an x value. Then we are asked to determine one value that could go for this question mark for x that makes this not a function. So let's review about functions. A function is a relation in which each input has exactly one unique output. So seven can only have an output of negative six. It cannot have another output if it's a function. So seeing as this is not a function, we know that we can say if we put in this box right here, if we take seven and put it in that box, now seven has an input of negative six and seven has an input, an output of eight. Input seven, output negative six, and output eight for the same input. Therefore, it's not a function, so we can say that one solution for x that would make it not a function is seven. Now, maybe you said 12 
because if we take that out and we look at 12 as an input with an output of negative 1, if we put 12 in place of this question mark, then it would also have an output of 8, making this not a function because 12 as an input has two different outputs. So you could have answered 7 or 12 and been correct. Okay, you only needed to answer one because they said one value. So, but if you answered seven, you're correct. And if you answered 12, you're correct. So thank you for joining me today to review using the vertical line test to determine if the graph of the relation was a function. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.